Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Today we are going to remove some more Black Widow egg sacs from our spider tanks. So in the big spider tank, we have two egg cases that we got to get these egg sacs out of there. So we're going to get rid of the two egg sacs from here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now the second tank, which remember is the spider jar, the Black Widow spider observation jar, we're going to remove the egg sac from there. Now that we have the egg sacs out, what are we going to do with them? Well, yeah, we have them in this jar, but we can't leave them in the jar. I mean, we, we could go protocol zero on them, but I have another idea. Let's open them up under magnification and see what they look like. And just for this very purpose, I had ordered a Cooler Tron digital video microscope from Amazon. It was around $100. I think I paid $97.14 or something, you know almost a hundred dollars and we should be able to get some cool video this unit you can either go directly to a computer to record it or into an SD card I prefer the SD card method and this looks like the green screen of death all right All right, so everything is locked up here. We cannot do anything. This is a completely unresponsive. And I'm going to go around to the back and hit the reset button. A little paper clip, stick it in that reset hole. This is a fine piece of electronic equipment. All right, so it looks like this video is on hold. I'm going to hit the pause button, and then we'll figure out what to do. Okay, we're back out there in YouTube land. I think that took, what, five seconds, three seconds? In the real world, this is a week later. We could not get this microscope to work. Tried it dozens of times. I mean, it's a total piece of junk, waste of $100. So I went back online to Amazon, and there were several others in this $100 price range, but they were identical to this unit, just with different company names on them. That's, I mean, if this is junk, they're going to be junk. So I had to go up one more price point. So I moved up to the $150 price range, and I did not go with that same brand, because even if this was a one-off, I can't trust that brand. That brand is now dead to me. You gotta figure, I paid $100, I'm in the middle of a video, and I am lucky these egg cases were kind of filmed that I didn't hatch on their own. It could have ruined everything. I just, yeah. So I went with a different brand, and it's called KK Moon. I think it was $147 or $150. And then during checkout, there's like a 5% off coupon. So I think I paid like $142 or $143. So, and it doesn't matter what I paid, because it needs to work. This one works. I tested it before we started the video. And now we can actually make the video we started a week ago. And one other quick thing, if you remember the last time we opened an egg case, just in case, you know, there were spider babies came pouring out and we had to torch them. This time we're going to open the egg cases on one of those glue boards, one of those mouse catching glue boards. This glue board is from Tomcat. So we put the glue board under the microscope, we put the egg case on the glue board, and here we go. And this one has spider babies. Well, good thing we did this on a glue board. These are creepy. These are horrible.
Yeah. Yeah, these are scary, horrible, creepy little spiders. All right, now we can move on to the next egg sacs. We'll open those up, but first we have to do something with this one. The benefit of the glue board, pull it out, bam, fold it in half, squish it all together, make sure nobody escapes, and then you can just take those spider babies sealed in the glue board, Put them into a plastic baggie, seal that, and then toss them away, and they will never bother anyone again for the rest of their life or the rest of yours. Problem solved, right? Okay, now we're going to open up the second Black Widow spider egg case. For those of you that have seen my previous video on opening up egg cases, you will recognize this. These are spider eggs, and these look like that these are good and would have hatched had we given it enough time to hatch, so it's a good thing. Now let's open up the last egg case. Uh, this one's a little different. It looks dark, like it was ready to hatch. But now that we're looking inside, we can see something is terribly wrong. Or I mean, not from our standpoint, it's terribly wrong from the spider's standpoint. Half of the eggs, or maybe a third of the eggs in here look good. The other portion of the eggs looks damaged and they're slimy. Yeah, something went wrong in this egg case and I don't know if it happened during the laying or they weren't good eggs or if during storage. Maybe that's the reason why the Black Widow Spider moves the egg case around, because you got to keep spinning it? I don't know. Yes, it's pretty bad looking in there, but it some of the eggs look like they would have hatched. I can't tell for sure, but you have some eggs that look good and some that just look horrible. Now we can seal these egg cases up just like we did with the other one, seal it in the glue board, and then plastic baggie, dispose of, problem solved. All right, so what do you think? This video took me well over a week to make. It didn't take you a week to watch. And I thought it was pretty interesting that we actually had some good magnification of the egg cases, which is something we clearly couldn't get from that first digital video microscope. And really quick, I'll do a full review on both of these microscopes, the really cool KK Moon one and this horrible Coolertron one. But something you need to know, if you go to buy one of these, they're not real microscopes. They're, they're sold as, look for looking at digital circuit boards and soldering, and they call them microscopes. It's not a real microscope. It's got that digital zoom rather than the optical zoom, and I guess you can put this up on a big 50-inch TV, and it will still look really good and look bigger, but you're only going to zoom in so much. But it was perfect for our purposes. But before I've made my review video, I don't want you running out and saying, it's really cool, I need to buy one of these, and then think you can look at pollen, little little things of pollen, or blood vessels, or, bl or blood cells, or germs, or any of that, because you're not going to do that with this microscope. But for looking at, you know, things that are small and making them really big and videoing on them, and you can take still pictures too, I think these are really cool, and I am really impressed, at least with the KK Moon one. The other one, well, I already told you. All right, so what do you think? Cool? Not cool? Leave your comments in the comment section. And hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.